Welcome to our tutorial about banning displays feature. We now have this extra option for tiling windows and documents right across your monitors. That's what the spanning display is. And this is useful, of course, if you have more than one monitor. Let's right click on the desktop. From this contextual menu, I can launch the control panel for my NVIDIA video card, or I can open up the screen resolution control area. Let's select screen resolution. In my case, I've got three displays or three monitors. I can position them side by side, or I can stack them one on top of another. Let me cancel out of this dialog window, and let's return to SolidWorks. SolidWorks allows us to span across the displays horizontally or vertically. When SolidWorks is in normal mode, the tile options are right next to the standard Windows Close, Maximize, and Minimize icons. We click here to tile right. Let's tile our other document to the left. To stretch out your screen space over multiple monitors, you click this tool here, Span Display. We can also go to Window on the main menu strip and select Span Displays. When I span the displays, you'll notice that the documents stay on the original monitor, as you see here. Let me go back to Window on the main menu strip and select Restore. When you're in Span mode, you can tile left and right to move documents around the workspace. You can also tile vertically, moving the documents between top and bottom. If you hold down the Alt key and press, for example, Tile Right, SolidWorks will span over two screens, and the document window will move to the right screen, as you see here. Of course, if I hold the Alt key and click Tile Left from SolidWorks in normal mode, then SolidWorks will span over two screens, and the document window will stay on the left screen, as you see here. Now I'm going to click Window on the main menu strip and select Restore. And this takes me back to my original display. This concludes our tutorial about spanning display feature.